Sister Helen Prejean, author of Dead Man Walking, made the statement, people are more than the worst thing that they have ever done. What's the worst thing that you've ever done? In the Bible, Jesus told a story about a man who had two sons. The younger wanted his inheritance early, so he asked his dad to give it to him. The son then left the family home with the money, went to another country, and squandered it all. Eventually, he had no means to support himself. He had nothing to eat, nor a place to sleep. He decided to be better off at home. Upon arriving at home, his father greeted him with a hug and a kiss. The younger son acknowledged to his dad that he'd done some stupid things. The father, full of joy that his son had come home and repented of his ways, decided to throw a party. Hearing the noise of the celebration, the older son became jealous. His father never threw a party for him, and he had always done what his father had asked. The father acknowledged that the older son had always done right. But since the younger son, who everyone thought was lost, had come home, that was worth a celebration. The story is sometimes called the prodigal son or the forgiving father. Many people focus on the younger son's coming to his senses and the lovingness of his father to welcome him home. Yet, if you read this story in the Bible, the words forgiveness and acceptance aren't really said out loud. It's the actions in this story that speak louder than words. The son came home. The dad welcomed him with an embrace. The dad threw a party. The part of the story often overlooked are the actions of the older son. Out of his jealousy of his younger brother, the older son stayed outside the house. He argued with his father. The father appeals to the son. And the story ends there. We don't know what the older son decided to do. We hope that the older son embraced his dad and they walked together into the house and to join the celebration. According to biblical scholar, Amy Jell Levine, the inclusiveness of the family is more important than the words the family said in the story. Were there people in the story who did and said foolish things? Yes. Were there people in the story who were hurt? Yes. The lesson of the story is no one is defined by their worst moment. Everyone is invited to be part of the family. You are already part of God's family and nothing you have ever done will get in the way of God's love for you. So here is our prayer for you. Enlightened by the spirit and enlivened by the love you give and the love you receive, may you experience the joy and peace of coming home to the Lord. We invite you to the Catholic Information Center to discover and dialogue with us about being part of God's family and to join in the celebration of God's love and forgiveness. Find us at the intersection of faith and life and online at catholicinformationcenter.org.